Hey guys, Dave from WP Smackdown here, and today I want to talk to you about the Optimus Image Compression Plugin. It is developed by the folks over at KeyCDN. Uh, they run a content delivery network, and if you're shopping around for a new CDN or you don't currently use one, I would highly recommend their service. It is what we are using right now on WP Smackdown, and we've been very, very happy with it, so go check them out. But they do know a thing or two about optimizing your static assets and compressing images, and they have developed a plugin called Optimus, which does just that for all of your images. So when you upload images into your WordPress media library, Optimus will automatically compress not only the original image that's uploaded, but all of the different image sizes that you have set in WordPress. So any small, medium, large sizes, your thumbnails, every single image will get optimized. And this works for both PNG images and JPEGs. Optimus is a free plugin, but they do also have a pro upgrade. I will go through the options of each. There are very few settings to get set up, but I will denote uh, the couple of pro features. And um, one of the biggest pro features is the ability to automatically create WebP images for you. WebP is a new image format that Google has put forth, and it's um, pretty quickly being adopted by most browsers and being supported by most browsers. Um, but the big benefit to WebP files is that it keeps the same quality of your images, but it drastically reduces the file size. So this will make your pages load faster, which obviously your visitors will be happy about, but also Google and other search engines are starting to use page speed as a ranking factor also, so you might see a little bit of a boost in your Google rankings as well. So let's take a quick look at Optimus and the different settings and how to get it set up. Here we are on the plugin screen, and I just want to show you guys how to enter your Optimus HQ license key. Optimus HQ is essentially the pro version. Uh, as of March 2016, it costs $29 a month. It's currently on sale for $19. I'm sorry, that's per year, $29 per year, but it is currently on sale for $19 for the year. So if you decide to go with the pro version and you get a license key, you'll come to the plugins page. And I've already activated mine, so you'll see here I have an expiration date. But if you haven't, you'll just have a link right here that says Activate. And when you click on that link, you will get a, an input box here. You'll just paste in your license key and go ahead and click Activate. So let's take a look at the settings for Optimus. You can get to them by coming over here to Settings and Optimus. That'll bring you to this page. The first thing you'll notice here is image sizes. This isn't actually an option. This is just showing you all the different image sizes that you have registered to be created when you upload an image into WordPress. So this is just confirming that your thumbnail, your medium, your medium large, and your large images will all be compressed when you upload things into WordPress. This option here will not touch the original image if you have it checked, but it will just optimize all of these image sizes up here, but it will keep your original image intact. I would recommend just leaving that unchecked. I don't see any reason not to optimize your original image unless you maybe really wanted to keep some of the data that was in there. Um, but really, I would, I would recommend leaving this unchecked. Image metadata. This is a pro feature only, so it will only work if you have a license key and have paid for the pro version. But what it does is it gives you the option to keep all of your image metadata. So if you run a photography site or for whatever reason you need to keep all your EXIF and, and metadata there, you can check this box and Optimus will not remove that data. That does mean that your files will be slightly larger than if you leave it unchecked and have them remove it, but if you're using that data for something, then you have the option with the pro version to check that box and keep the metadata. WebP files. This is one of the biggest benefits that I see to the Optimus plugin. WebP files are significantly smaller, yet they retain the quality. So I would recommend uh, buying the pro version and using this creation of WebP files. So we need to check this option. And every JPEG and PNG image that you then upload into the media library, there will be a WebP file automatically created. And not only does it create one for the original image in its full size, but it also creates WebP versions for each of these image sizes up here too. So that's very useful. HTTPS connection. This means it's another pro feature, and basically it means that it will communicate with the Optimus server through an HTTPS connection. Um, it will take a little bit longer for your images to get uploaded and get processed, 
but it does ensure that everything happens securely. Um, if you feel that you need this, go ahead and check it. Um, but also note that Optimus, when they optimize images on their server, as soon as they're done optimizing them, they completely delete the image that you sent there. So they do not store any of your data, which is another good thing, I think, for security purposes. And this last option down here, optimize during upload, if you want, you can actually turn off the optimization for each upload. Let's say you have a lot of images to upload and you want to just upload them fast and be able to post something very quickly, then you might want to check this box. Most people, I think, are going to leave this unchecked and just have the optimization occur as you upload. But what you can do is you can optimize a bunch of images with this checked, uh, upload a bunch of images, excuse me, with this box checked, and they won't get optimized right away, but Optimus offers a bulk optimization feature, which you'll notice this note up here says you can go Optimus Bulk Optimizer. You can also get to that from your Tools menu when you click on Optimize All Images. This will tell you that Optimus found, in my case, 538 images in the media library. And if I want, I can go ahead and click this button and it will optimize all of those images that um, were in the media library before I started using this plugin. So that's a nice way to bulk optimize everything after you've installed the plugin. And this will keep in mind all of the settings that you've just changed. So let's say you were using Optimus for a while and then you upgraded to the Pro version. Now you can create WebP files. So you go into your settings, you check the box to create WebP files. Now you can come to this bulk optimizer and optimize everything and it'll create WebP files for everything that's in your media library. So that can be very helpful. One other thing to keep in mind with WebP files is if you want to enable them, there are two ways that Optimus has for you to be able to use WebP files on your website. And they mention that in their documentation, which I'll put a quick link to. But you can also enable it by installing another plugin called the Cache Enabler. This is also developed by the same guys over at KeyCDN. And they have a simple checkbox here where you can create an additional cached version for your WebP image support. So if you're using WebP images with the Optimus plugin, and then you install this cache enabler plugin, you can come in here and check this box, click Save Changes, and that will allow you to start using your WebP images on your WordPress website. And that's really all there is to it, guys. The settings are pretty minimal, and this plugin does one thing, and it does it really well. Um, assuming that you know how to upload images into your media library, I won't be covering that in this tutorial, but once you've created all these settings, install the plugin, then every image that you upload will be optimized from there on out.